All right, what's up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we are here with esports, and we're pretty much going to talk about Dan. Um, Dan, obviously, you guys know him as a joke character in this franchise throughout history Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 3, any game that Dan was in, he was known as the joke showdown, right? But guess what? In Street Fighter 5, he is back, and even though he has some jokey things, joking things such as like the legendary taunt um his v skill actually builds his v skill is actually a taunt itself and the crazy part is that the v skill actually builds the meter for himself and the opponent so it seems like there's a lot of joking aspect obviously like i said he has the legendary taunt where he does his taunt super and the crazy part of his taunt super is that by the time he ends it he will take like 10 times the damage so yeah, I mean, a lot of things about him is joking. It's very just childish, you know, you just think of him as a joke character, but trust me when I say that Street Fighter Five Dan is definitely a character that you have to kind of worry about. You actually have to study the matchup, um, even though he has like these, like this fireball doesn't really go anywhere and everything, right? He has like, you know, like pretty much Shoto moves like Ryu, Ken, Akuma, but it's not like fully intact. It's pretty good. Why? Because the V skill system. The V system in this game actually makes him a very strong character. Um, but before we get into that, like a lot of his normals are very good. Like this is a good standing medium kick right here. Amazing button right here. Amazing buttons. This is a good one to stand heavy kick, right? He has really fast buttons. Good normals to combo stuff, right? A lot of things he could just do, right? Um, so what's really good is his V skill. We're gonna go over V skill one. This is V skill one. His V skill one pretty much is a rolling taunt. He can go backwards. He could jump with it, right? So what's really good is that you can cancel any of his special moves into the taunt, right? And what I mean by that, like, it could be whiff. Look at that. What if someone jumps at you? To back off, right? You can do this, right? And the crazy part is that this is a this move on block. The character can actually punish it, but if you cancel it into the taunt at the end like that, you actually make it safe. Right, you can even combo the DP and then come down the taunt as well. So a lot of these situations that you're seeing with Dan actually, it, it keeps the pressure going, right? So if I do a combo, for example, if I do this EX, right, and then do this, right, the EX, well, let's try again, right, combo the EX, right, combo the light kick tattoo, taunt into the uppercut, right, this this, this, com this combos, right, and look at that. You can actually continue your pressure from there. We can also continue your pressure from doing this as well. If someone jumps at you, and you can just can cancel your uppercut into the taunt and keep your pressure. Most of the time when you do an uppercut, you actually do not get the pressure afterwards, right? You see this? Usually in this situation, the, the opponent can roll, right? And then that's it. That's the end, that's the end of your offense right there. But with this B skill, you can keep your pressure going because you're literally dashing while he's getting up right you're in the blue blue means positive frames you always want to be in positive frames so that's good also dan is the only character with a one bar v trigger and this one bar v trigger is a it's just this giant fireball it may not look threatening but but co confirming from the standing heavy kick it's actually pretty darn good right see it's actually pretty darn good because you could combo afterwards which is really nice right you can even combo into like super, right? If you, if you just feel like doing super, look at that. Combo into super, easy, easy damage right here. Nice little super, boom, big damage, right there. So that is Dan's V skill one. Now, the, the personal V trigger, the, the personal V skill I use is V skill two, with the combination of V trigger two. So V trigger two, right? You pretty much get enhanced fireballs and enhanced DPS as well. So that's and you get two uses or three uses three uses you get for for V trigger two two bars Which is still nice his V skill is actually still a taunt He can't do air taunt. It's only a ground taunt or crouch taunt So what's really good about this compared to V the one where it affects special move this affects Ground no your normal attacks anything. That's not a command normal and a sweep You can cancel into the taunt and you're like hey, that's it. It's only a two-hit combo. That's that's kind of whatever but if you time it right away, you can cancel the taunt into another button. But this requires practice. I definitely see a lot of damn players will probably just mess it up and you'll get something like this. 
right? But if you're fast enough, look, you can continue your pressure. So what does that mean? You can combo from the standing heavy kick, right? Stand, you can combo from the standing heavy kick into a bigger combo and you get more damage. Look, think about if you're from hit from this far and you hit this button. Normally you can't get much, but with the B skill, you can combo him into, the, into that. Big damage right there, right? Even from a jump in, right? Even with a jump in, you kind of right. Look at that. You get two, that's three heavies in a combo. Three heavies into a combo. You can even do combo into standing heavy kick, V trigger, standing heavy kick again. Look at that. How many heavies was that? How many heavies was that? That was a lot of heavies, right? Lots of heavies, but what makes this VCO really good and makes Dan very threatening is that the final thing in a Street Fighter game where infinites do not supposed to exist, he has an infinite. What do you say? Yes, I am not lying to you. He has an infinite, which can be set up in many of ways, but usually gets some to the corner. So there are definitely lots of setups out there and lots of setups to be found. But I think the best one that I probably do at the moment is you go from a grab and you back dash and you combo that. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Imagine you land in this infinite. This is a joke character, guys. Joke character. How does a joke character have an infinite? Right? How does a joke character have an infinite? So this is, look at this, imagine you stun somebody, and you get this combo. Alright, imagine that. That's the, that's the beauty of it. So this is Dan in a nutshell, and to be honest, like, if you, if you want to know more about Dan, make sure you guys watch uh, my Twitch streams, watch Punk, the Alpha, the Punk, the God, his Twitch stream. He won an NLBC, he won the, one of the hardest weekly tournaments with Dan on the first week. So yeah, Dan is the, Dan is definitely, even though he's the joke character of Street Fighter Five, he's not a joke character in Street Fighter Five. He's actually pretty darn good. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check him out. This is my main character at the moment until Rose comes out, so the next DLC character, and we'll probably cover more. We'll probably cover Rose and all the other DLC characters in esports as well. So make sure you guys, you know, hit the follow, continue re uh, reading the websites on other articles, other games. And this is Justin Wong. I'll see you guys later. Peace.